It's finally happened. Oblivion gates are now open in California. And I fucking hate it. I am literally dying over here. It is fucking awful. I would not wish California on anyone. And I hope that everyone is staying safe. And I know that it is worse in other parts of the world. And in fact, it is worse in other parts of California. So, uh, together we shall fight Mehrun's Dagon, who symbolizes global warming, I guess. Uh, was that, uh, the, my laundry's done? I don't know, I'll, I'll get it later. Anyway, more Oblivion today. I am still having some lag issues, so I might have to end early again, but we'll see what happens. We'll just pray that the divines are on our side today. Also, I forgot to fucking, uh, why did I, I booted up Oblivion before switching to this screen. Oh. It's already frame skipping, but, uh, you know. Hey, Oblivion, can you uh, cooperate with me, please? 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 Can we not do this today, please? I just, uh, there we go. All right. All right, uh, here's a dap. I can't dap in the chat right now because I have Oblivion opened. But anyway, we're level 15 now. Uh, in two level ups, hopefully, if I do it correctly, I will have 100 fucking intelligence. I will have the biggest brain in the world. But sadly, it won't develop wrinkles unless I get it past 100 and, uh... But yeah! Uh, let's see... Uh... Oh wait, I can just, uh... Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Why am I pressing buttons? Big brain time. Every time is big brain time. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna tackle that gate in, uh, Leowen. We got Breville last time, and then my fucking computer crashed. Uh, yeah, uh... Greetings, Breton. Who are you? Sabi, Counts Mage and Castle Hill. I've never Breton. seen you here before. Oh, you're from... You don't even... You're just visiting. You don't even have any spells. Yeah, I do have a little silly little feather spell effect on right now because off screen I was uh, grinding alchemy and carrying a bunch of shit because I accidentally made a bunch of potions that were like literally five pounds each. A coin for an old Wait, no. There's someone I uh, thought it would be funny to talk to. I wonder if I can talk to him yet, but uh, I don't know. Well, you found the three sisters. Beds and food. Not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Um. Shravi, the sister that works and worries. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post, but she can cook, at least. No, you got nothing? Oh, what are you, what are you selling? What can I interest you in? I have a decent amount of alchemy ingredients. Maybe I'll come back. I think I'm just gonna find this fucking Oblivion Gate. Where is a Weebum Nah? He says something really funny, but I forgot where he is. Nope. I know he has a house, but I'll come back later. Maybe. <sighs> yeah, 
Anyway, I might focus on just grinding conjuration and intelligence this level up. Because, uh... Because uh, Justin's quickly becoming outclassed. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Also, uh... That's not gonna do anything, so... Guess we're going back to this. Oh, oh no. Way too many fucking dead paint horses in this playthrough. Here we go, we're going to California. Ha 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 Oh. Oh, here's something my uh, flame astronaut is gonna be good at dealing with. That? My friends, is a fucking frost atronach. Rip horses. Rip horses indeed. Okay. Yeah. Why don't I have a weapon equipped? Oh yeah, because I was punching shit. Imperial girls, they're undeniable! <laughs> Hello, uh, Moonlit Glare. How are you doing today? One time, a uh, kids bop did a cover of that song, and it's another fucking dead horse. What is it with all these fucking horses? Uh, okay, that's good. Just okay is better than uh, absolutely fucking dreadful, which is. How California is right now. Because it is on fire. It looks exactly what you are seeing. What is it with you and horses? Yeah, how the fuck do you spell Maddie? Why not heart, Salty? We need to spread the love when there is so much hate. Against horses, especially. I thought you are saying IDK, how it's spelled. Like, I just don't fucking know how my name is spelled, and I have to deal with that every day. relatable people always spell my name wrong well my real name at least scotch people be like i don't know what that was that did not sound scottish all right I swear the rest of this is not going to take as long. I just forgot to equip another fire spell, so I have to rely on Justin here. Another one! A, a fuck another one! You know, I'm just going to hide behind here. Oh, no, that's not working. Look, guys, it's uh, Marshmallow from Frozen, everyone's favorite uh, Frozen character. Yo, Marshmallow! Okay. Where the fuck am I supposed to Best PH party member ep- Oh, this is a, uh... Oh, I just fucking fell. 
that's one way to deal with these guys, I guess. Oh. Oh. Well, that worked. That worked, I guess. All right, now to figure out this uh, fucking map. Looks like I might have to do a few silly little, uh... Here. Here is where I want to be. Watching Frozen the other day was so fucking funny. Because I remember, like, when I first saw Frozen, I was... Oh, now there's a Dramora. Ow. You churl. You're a fucking churl. Anyway, watching Frozen was so fucking funny because when it first came out, when I first saw it, I, uh, honestly did not miss much. It was, it was Frozen, the movie. Ah, right, here we go. When I first saw Frozen, I really liked it. But I realized a lot of it was because I was really fucking depressed by the time I saw Frozen. And I was kind of just like, oh, I just want to be a kid again. But uh, now, uh, you're right. Everything is funnier with friends. Maybe the real comedy was the friends we made along the way. If we ever watched Frozen 2, uh, you're invited. I don't, I don't know if you would be able to make it. But when I watched Frozen, I was like, yeah, this kind of sucks. Like, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just uh, not really mind-blowing. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Now these guys are going to kill me. Ow. Bonk. But you know, it was uh, so sad. I was like, oh my god, like the first time I ever saw Frozen, I was like, oh my god, Olaf, he's so cute and he is so funny and adorable and I love him. But uh, now I'm just like, you know what, can I, can I just stop seeing him? That would be really nice. Oh, another clan fear. I fucking hate these guys. Yeah. You will love Olaf. Sorry about your ears, everyone. That was just really funny. You will live in the pod. You will eat the bugs. You will love Olaf. You will accept uh, Disney's uh, neoliberalism, even though they... Uh, actually filmed Mulan in like a place where concentration camps were and uh, this is not a political stream. All right. I gotta find a new way to go about this. I mean obviously just running would be the best. This is a political stream. I know I'm I support the Empire. I don't support the Empire, I, I just support, um... I support the Emperor nutting into my mouth. Oh my god. Motherfucker. If I just ran around in circles and avoided them... Uh no, ah, ah god I got I got trapped I got fucking trapped Oh uh speaking of ridiculous I finally beat Cuphead today Rest in peace Salona she has died several times this is nothing new for her 
there is some uh, force out there that is rewinding her death. Or perhaps all of the timelines where she dies just cease to exist. I've told you about my theory about that, right? Like, in real life. Actually, it's not the same thing as this theory I literally just thought of five seconds ago. Uh, what if I... Oh, now I'm in the cave. I don't save. But I'm gonna... Yeah. Well, anyway, my new theory is that in video games, every time a character dies, or the main character dies, the player dies, uh, that timeline just ceases to exist because it goes against the prophecy or whatever. But that's just the game theory! But that's just a game theorizing. If you've ever uh, watched uh, the Killian experience, he like, he always says, but that's just a game theorizing. And I think it's really funny. Oh, you guys want to hear my MatPat story? So, uh, one time I was at, this was WonderCon 2017. I was at a, uh, Mass Effect panel, which it had, like, a bunch of real scientists who were going to talk about, like, the actual science of Mass Effect and how it, like, how they used real science in the games. But then MatPat was also there for some inexplicable reason. So I was just like, I have an actual question about like science. Like my question was that, would it be possible for like in the future, a uh, like a new element to be discovered that would allow us to like advance science by like a thousand years which is kind of like what happened in mass effect but uh they never got to me because the line was just full of matpat fans who were just asking questions that had nothing to do with anything they're just like oh my god matpat have you seen this show oh my god matpat i love you and then i'm just like i don't fucking care i'm here for like the actual science and it was like it was so sad That that five eighty seven. Uh, Justin, you deal with this. Yeah, I've kind of given up doing Oblivion games the legit way, and I'm just like running through all of them. It's kind of based, actually. It's very based. I don't know, it represents Salona's growth. Like, you can't fight every battle sometimes, you just have to fucking run. That's legitimately a good moral. Oh, brother. Oh, bother. Bother. There's no honey in this, Oblivion Gates. I don't know why I said that. Winnie the Pooh is always funny. No, Winnie the Pooh. That's not honey. You're eating MatPat videos. Oh, bother. Looks like it's just a game theory. I should get help, probably. <sighs> oh my god, speaking of getting health, I, uh... 
I just remembered a streamer tag that I was going to add, but I forgot to add. So I'm going to add that right now. Winnie the Pooh did the bite of 87. Oh, that's fun. Uh. All right, this is now officially a Zoloft stream. Oh. Is that a, uh, no, I thought that was like a Gatory boy, but. Ah! Uh, stop it. Can Kitty, you, uh, fucking slow the fuck down? Perhaps. Uh. How many immediate potions of healing? Yeah. Well, that just saved my life. So, you know, we only see, like, the alchemy that is immediately, like, you know, a helpful to your actual character in battle, but my headcanon is that alchemy can be used for so much more. So, uh, there is definitely a potion equivalent of Zoloft in the Elder Scrolls universe. There's a, probably a potion equivalent of, there's probably a potion birth control also. There's just, uh, the possibilities are endless. This is why I love the Elder Scrolls universe. I mean, you can probably make crystal meth in, in, in a mortar and pestle, too. But, uh, we have skooma, so why would you care? Uh. Remember when I said I was going to actually run past these guys? That was a lie. It's really fun hitting these guys with an ice spell. The claw monolith! Raise the claw! Can I stop making fucking Disney references? Alright. Oh, brother. I wanted to erase Conjuration, that's why I was running, because I just wanted Justin to deal with all of these guys. Ow. What the fuck was that? Something is throwing fire at me. Now something else is throwing fire at me. All right, that timeline officially doesn't exist. It never existed. I mean, Morrowind does something to 
I don't know, kind of suggest a theory that you have no Morrowind. This is going to make absolutely no sense to most people, but in Morrowind, when an essential NPC dies, you get a message saying that uh, the prophecy has been severed and uh, you can uh, persist in the doomed state you have created, but you probably do not want to. So, that, I mean, there are events that are supposed to happen in the Elder Scrolls universe. All right, Justin, it's all up to you. Uh, oh, uh. Ah. The corridors of dark salvation. I'm gonna do a save. Uh. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Peter, what are you doing? Crack? What the fuck? It's like legitimate peak family guy. It's like, what are you doing? Crack? Where'd you get crack from? From Black's? Yeah, behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Absolute Kino. Alright. Justin, you hold them off. Justin, this is, uh... This is your thing. You, you get to do this. You're good at this. Battle Axe of Dissolution. Ooh, Disintegrate Armor, but... Oh! Is there anything over there? Sometimes there's really good shit in these. Most of the time there's not, but... Do I have a Journeyman Mortar and Pestle? Uh... I already have a Journeyman Mortar and Pestle, so... But... I'll take it anyway, I'll just sell it. Alright, and... Later, losers! Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, god. Ah! Just get me out of here! Get me the fuck out of here! Why does it? <laughs> but looks like uh, Leowin is back to just being a normal shitty location. What time is it? There's something behind me. It's a scamp. There's something, Please tell me they did not follow me in here. Because that's going to create uh, dead civilians and 
The guards are going to blame me for some reason. Now, where is the castle? Spoon, what are you doing today? Uh, this is Leowin, this is not Breville. Leowin is uh, marginally nicer than Breville. I'm uh, suffering because California's on fire. Now, I might have to, uh, I could wait, but due to my OCD about this game, I don't want to just waste a day waiting. Or I could, uh, or I could go the completely wrong way. That's always an option. Is this the castle, or is this just, uh... Yeah, why would they put two gates, like, so close to each other? It's not very good city planning. Can I, uh... It is a privilege. Whoa! We're, whoa! Just, like... ASMR'd me. I could just, uh... break into the fucking, uh palace. I mean, Marius and Alicia Caro probably already really hate me for the, uh, the uh, sanguine incident from a few weeks ago, but I have enough money to pay whatever fine if the guards catch me, although it's more fun to just run away. Okay, where is this fucking castle? Alright, let... It's east, but it's southeast. <sighs> oh yeah, I told everyone I beat Cuphead. But yeah, I beat Cuphead. I'm very proud of it. So it's it's a really fun game, even though it's a really hard game. And uh, I do want to learn some of the bosses on Expert, but only the fun bosses. Because a lot of those bosses are just a fucking slog that I don't want to learn again. Yeah, Cuphead is uh, fun. <laughs> Were you there in Calaverty Street? Beepus the Clown? Welcome. You know what? Fuck Beepus the Clown. Alright. Were you there in Calaverty Stream? Where, uh, looks like he's still awake. So, uh, hey, come back. Where are you going? Oh. Where he was doing song requests during 14, and uh, hold on. Oh, you're having a party. Is it? No, it's you I have to talk to. Caro, by grace of the nine, Count Leowin. You are a stranger to me, but well met. Good thing you remember me as a stranger. Uh, uh, could you do some uh, service for Cyrodiil? With the Oblivion Gate near Leowin closed, I suppose the immediate threat is lessened. I will do as you ask. Let no one say Leowin did not do its part to uphold the Empire. All right. Uh, thank you. Now I only have... Farewell. Hold on. Uh... Uh, let's see. 
Hold on. Uh, did that little break screen work for you guys? Was it playing music? The only problem was I also had the audio of the game running, so. Anyway, were you there in Caliburny's stream where I just requested the uh, Cuphead is racist song and then I just played the first part and then he just turned it off? That is nice armor. I want that armor. Are you the Count? Uh, no. Then go away. Okay. Well, Cuphead and his pal Mugman, they hate. And then it's, uh. Not the technical N word, but the word that is, uh. Still. That is not, uh, politically correct these days it is the slightly nicer N word, but still not a word you should go around saying. But. Then he ended it, like, right after that, uh, sentence, so it was just, like, he just played that part, and then I'm like, that's the most offensive part of the song. Alright. Let's see... I just got skin grad and did I do coral? No, I didn't do coral. No, I did do coral. And then anvil. But... <sighs> the Lewin, Breville, Kvach, Shaden Hall, Coral. There we go. You know, I'm just gonna walk some of the way just to see what I can find on the road. It is a very long trip, but I need to restock on alchemical ingredients, so... Oh, Spriggan. Uh. Um, uh, can he maybe, uh, not bear? Oh, f <laughs> Oh, fuck, I got yellow tick. Ah! Uh. Mm. All right. Ah, hey. oh, it's the Spriggan again. In that dank conjuration. Ah. 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 And 
they can heal. Would you guys rather a uh, Spriggan or a Flame Atronach? Legit question. <sighs> Flame Atronach, kind of based. But also the real answer is you're weird for wanting either of them. Because they will uh, rip your balls off. And uh, I can get some taproot from this Spriggan. Uh... Like, oh right, and I think there were some mushrooms here I could pick. Yes, it was a sex question. Is anything not a sex question here? The hero's fate is known when the hero's fame has grown. Is this... Are we back here? Guys, remember Border Watch? It's completely empty now. I could just, uh, pillage and loot this entire village. But they don't really have anything, so it's not worth it. I wish I could just take a nice walk in the cold woods, but can't have that. Can't have shit in California. At least it uh, snows in Detroit, probably. Might What would you guys do if, without any warning whatsoever, I just stopped playing Oblivion and just started streaming old VeggieTales episodes? I want your robe, that's a cool robe.
Yeah, you're probably right. It would only be funny for like an hour or so. Oh no, it's a fucking wova wisp. Those guys have been giving me a lot of trouble. I might be better at handling them now that I've leveled up, but I still don't feel like risking it. What if they had a Veggie Tales, but it was all stories from Oblivion lore? Like Saint Alicia the Cucumber. What was I was I not Saint Alicia the the Cucumber? Cause you know how like uh in Veggie Tales, they had like David and Goliath, but they were all asparagus. What if it was like the story of Saint Alicia and uh, Mori House the Bull, but they were cucumbers, but Mori House was like a giant turnip, but he had bull horns. Oh, St. Alicia, the uh, slave queen who rose up against her elven oppressors and drove the aliens out of... Uh, who the... F oh! They're telling me to turn off or reduce non-essential power. If health allows. Well, I'm a streamer and I need my... Uh, I need my little... Uh, Stimmy I get from uh, the Bezos money, so I can't turn off power. But if anything like uh, starts smoking, then that's when I'll turn it off. Oh, I harvested too much. Is my... Uh yeah, what happened to my strength? God damn. Do I have anything to uh, restore strength? I restore endurance, but my endurance is fine. Uh, oh, I think I... Is it the... Uh, I think I need to... Yeah, that worked. I just, I had yellow tick and I forgot about it. Oh, I just had COVID and I forgot about it. I accidentally infected everyone. If I get, uh... If I get... 100 subs, I'll do an Oblivion lore stream. Because at 50 subs, I'm doing a KH2 level 1. I mean, the only real reason I want more subs is so I can get more emotes. And uh, if all of the people currently subscribe to me keep subscribing to me for like another four months, then I will get another emote slot. And I mean, having more would always be nicer, but it's not like 
I don't want to, like, start begging, you know? I don't want to, like, guilt trip people into giving me money. Also, but speaking of money, I am making a uh, bits reward. And it's going to be Fulana Kualu, the necrophilia lady. So if anyone wants to... Uh, I just like making art. I like uh, having an aesthetic. Yeah, sorry, it's uh, you gotta pay the fine. It's also, uh, I don't believe the emotes, I don't believe the bits emotes cost an emote slot, so. I would, uh, like to be able to do just follow emotes so people could spam my emotes without having to pay me money. But it's like... I can't get that until I'm like, I pass some, uh, I pass something on Twitch. I don't know. Yeah. I can just watch from up here, it'll be funny. This is fun, right? This is entertainment. It's like Gladiator. Thank you, Justin. I love you. There is Breville. Ah, oh, fuck. It is a brown bear who is more deadly than the black bear for some reason. Getting that sweet conjuration. Is that bear really killing Justin in like two to three hits? Fuck that. Oh, uh, we're, we're... We're out of the woods. We're out of the uh, proverbial woods only. It looks like we're still in the literal woods. I gotta say, 
I've been holding up a lot better than expected. Of course, now that I say that, I'm going to have like a bunch of major crashes. And uh, my entire computer is going to set on fire. But... Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that Cuphead is the most powerful being in the universe. Do you want to know why I think that? Because he can literally parry anything that is pink. That means if you, like, throw a nuke at him but paint it pink, then he'll just destroy it. If uh, Majin Buu fights him, he will just parry Majin Buu. If you even throw these flowers at Cuphead, he will parry them. Also, of course, there's the uh, giant uh, milk cum laser that comes out of his fucking cup head. But yeah, a uh, cup head, most powerful being in the universe. But I am proud of myself because I beat Cuphead before Caliburny beat Cuphead, and I started after him. But also, I've probably played it more than he has, so... He also beat Calamaria in one try, and it only took me like- it took me like seven tries to beat Calamaria. Calamaria, by the way, is an easy boss. Apparently the internet thinks she is a hard boss. But uh, the fucking robot is the hardest Cuphead boss. I think it's probably the paralysis that trips people up in Calamaria, but once you know what to do, it's like really easy to avoid. But I think the final boss was one of my favorite bosses. So it was just like so fucking intense, but also just feel really triumphant doing it. Ah. Why am I talking about Cuphead in, a, in an Oblivion stream? So I saw the fucking cup mushroom. The green shelf cup. <clears throat> Let's get back to uh, talking about Oblivion. It turns out that I have only two Oblivion Gates to close for Bruma, and then I will be getting back to the main quest, which means I have to get back on working on this fucking mod that I'm working on. I have most of it done. It's just putting files in the correct places and converting files, and there's a cave troll. You know, you know what you guys gotta do? They have a cave. 
cave troll. It's 100 bets. It's so easy to redeem. Ah! Troll. Thank you, Justin, for defeating the cave troll. Oh, now there's a bandit. Is that a bandit or is that a guard? Either way, uh, there's also a spriggan. I saw a meme yesterday that was like the hero of Kavach being praised as a hero after they uh, just run through the Oblivion Gate. And I'm like, so true. Oh my god, so fucking true. I'm no hero. I just run away from shit. Oh, it's... Oh! What the fuck did my mic just do? <laughs> just... It didn't let me do the joke. Didn't let me uh, destroy all my viewers' ears. But anyway, this is the ill, the end of ill omen. If you know, you know. If you don't, I will be back later, maybe. Hmm. Honest labor earns its own reward. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Oh, Fairy Gillian. The inn of a slightly healthier omen. Oh, fuck. What is... There, there's something... Uh... Literally what California is like, everyone. After long, arduous hours of practicing jumping and controlling your falls, you have become an apprentice of acrobatics. You can now attack while jumping or falling. However, you cannot use power attacks while in mid-jump or mid-fall. Only regular attacks. So, uh, yeah, watch this. Oh. I want to I wanna try that again. I can just, uh... I feel like I should stop focusing on stats so much and focus more on actually leveling my, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, and we're back at the Imperial City. 
perhaps I will uh, give Chancellor Okado a visit and see what uh, he has to offer. the place Hell's Gate. Oh, you have some sick armor. Think that my ear? Let's How hear about you. Not bad. Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. Uh, tell me about it. Make sure not to eat nightshade. It's very poisonous. Thank you. I, I was about to just eat all of this nightshade. I would not have known not to if you had not just told me right now. So thank you. <sighs> Fort Homestead. Is there anything in here? I want to see if I can, like, find any bandits with, like, really juiced armor. Because now I'm, like, at the level where really good armor starts appearing. And now I have found dwarven armor before. The only reason I haven't equipped it is because it doesn't fit the aesthetic of my character. And uh, looking beautiful is very important if you're going to be the hero of Kvach. But also, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to do a little bit of alchemy. Uh, wait, how much... Uh, At seven to go to uh, level up Conjuration, and that might put me at a level zone. But... I got a lot of this shit, so. Oh, holy shit! Look, look at that. Look. Here we fucking go. Did I level up at all from that? I forgot to check what it was before. I mean, I'm at a 79, so. Let's see. Dragon's Tongue. No, I'm not going to say what I was thinking of saying. But I can do Daedra and Lavender to make a restore health. And, uh... Is Lavender my only a restore health that I have? Ooh, I can get some Restore Magicka. Are those all of my Restore Magickas? 
Got some St. Jan's wort. That's good for now. There is a set of armor that I really want to get because it looks really cool. And I believe I'm at the level where it will start appearing on NPCs, but I think it's still rare at this point, but I just want to see. Rats. Rats. I'm punching a rat. Ah! I should have the ah oh, sound clip for that. I don't need that pen. They say the Legion is stretched to the limit across the Empire. Oh, that's Dwarven armor. Look at how goofy out that Dwarven armor looks. See, you have no drip. That's why you are not a hero. Last long sword. Um. Orcish boots uh, and uh, what fucking goofy armor do I have installed that turned all the Dwarven armor into German? Oh, you have Orcish armor, which once again not the drip I am looking for. Oh, 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 You know, like, when Brian from Family Guy gets really mad and he goes, like, Brr, that's exactly what I sounded like. Huh? Huh? You got some, uh, steel armor, which, uh, honestly, steel armor has a little bit of drip. Not as much drip as my uh, Kavach Kiris, which is the ultimate drip outfit, except for the higher level armors, which I'm trying to find, but no one seems to be wearing them. I think that's, that's iron armor. Oh, 
Warte, wie... Hey, Justin, can you do something? Do something about this goofy all motherfucker? What is triggering that? Is the uh is there a pressure plate that's just like invisible? <clears throat> oh fuck. Elvin Claymore, Dwarven These are in English. I'm finding lots of armor in here, but not the armor I want. Heroes Hall. Huh? huh? Hello? Hello? Get down. Ah, uh, green lady. Someday. I should make an orc character with big orc milkers. But, uh... They're better at uh, just straight-up warrior classes, which I've done. I feel like when I was younger, I really liked just being straight up warrior because I thought it was just cool to have a big sword, but now I'm like, magic. Dwarven longsword, uh, steel, I feel like if magic existed in real life, then I would definitely be a uh, badass battle mage. But sadly it doesn't, and so I'm a streamer. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, you, you have the, uh... I, I want that armor. I want that armor. I, I want that fucking Curus. Please give it to me. Please, I've never wanted anything more. Please, it looks so cool. Please. I just want your armor.
No, actually, the coolest looking armor is glass armor from Morrowind. Uh. Rur, 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 rur. What if I use the Wabajack on him? I'd be afraid of. Would that, uh. You know what would be really nice about now? Some lasagna. I have not made lasagna in a hot minute. I keep telling myself it's because I'm trying to eat healthier. But then I'll just have like an entire bag of Cheetos as a, as a meal replacement. So, it's because I'm fucking lazy. I mean, I think lasagna's healthier than Cheetos. You might need to uh, check me on that. It's got tomatoes. Tomatoes are... And I make my own sauce. So it's healthier than the jar. So I have another reward idea that I think might be really funny. You know, like the Metallica documentary where Lars is just like, he fucking left the band. That'd be like a really funny, just out of context, out of context channel point redeem. So I feel like half of my uh, channel points just have nothing to do with it. Actually, most of my channel point redemptions most of my rewards just have nothing to do with anything, and that makes them uh, just so fucking great. Alright, anyway. Nope. Uh... Oh, I got the Curus and the Greaves. There's only one problem. Heavy as shit. But you get to have my orcish gauntlets. You can also have my uh, steel boots and my steel greaves and You can have this tan jug too. But. Drip. Absolute fucking drip. Look at that. Look at that. We have uh, leveled up. We are at a brand new level of being a dripped out hero. Oh okay, yeah, I, I can just fucking wear that. <laughs> All right, and not having the catch, Curious. Uh... I 
I'm holding on to this shit for sentimental reasons. Just, uh... Goofy, uh... What? I can just drink all of these. And they will restore... Uh, they will... You know what? Just gonna stand here and just get drunk by myself. I just had that ale for no reason. Gotta get some gloves to like make everything match. Ah. <sighs> All right. Probably drop one of these mortar and pestles. I said I was gonna sell a bunch of shit, but I guess that's not happening. Can I do something with this tiger lily nectar? Uh. I really should just drop some things, but... Oh, right, I have a repair armor, so if they all break, then I will... They didn't break. That only got one out of the way. Uh... Oh yeah, I gotta uh, use these sigil stones to uh, enchant things. I'm keeping the real Baron Zaya. I, I cannot... Uh, I guess I can lose Warp in the West. I already learned that... Wait, I have all these tomes. Why, why am I... Not I could sell that, but... I'm good for now. I'm just gonna go sell a bunch of shit. None. I, I still drank that ale, so I am drunk right now. Based. It's like, uh... There's a quest at the beginning of Knights of the Old Republic where you have to go to a party... But, like, ooh, ooh, holy shit, fortify strength, eight points, and it's, uh, let's see what happens if I, uh, put these on. Oh my god, like, it's actually... Fuck yeah. Boots still look a little goofy off, but... So that... 295 gold, holy shit, and, uh... 
Yeah, I'm selling that. I, I am selling all this shit. I am like... We are balling. Yeah, I'm out of here. Very successful plundering. But how do I leave? Oh, I should have done. Oh, it's always these that make my game lag. Can I get out of here so we can get back to a normal game at speed? Please, 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 please. Please, I just want to play the game normally. Oh, and it's night. So not the store. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Maybe I could explore a little more. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. Enjoying the slideshow? Um, enjoy the slideshow by uh, Depeche Mode. There's really no redeeming qualities to the joke I just made. Like, it was just placing another word with uh, the word slideshow, but made absolutely no sense. It wasn't clever. I, um, I'm gonna cry. Should I wear Dwarven boots? No, I shouldn't. Okay, now, uh, no, I knew this was gonna happen. Is now happening. I should make another uh, mod where just 
my dialogue options are cry and then cry hard. You guys like the mesh map? I don't know why I'm thinking about Depeche Mode right now. I have literally no reason to be thinking about them. I have no reason to bring them up, but I'm just tired of everything. What if I saved, rebooted, and then just lit a uh... What if I just uh waited? Let's see if that did anything. It didn't! Or did it? It didn't. Maybe it did? It didn't. This kid is cursed. Everything's cursed. No, I just started a uh, fucking lock picking. That's. Are you, are you trying to tell me that lock picking is a bad thing that I shouldn't do? Because I listen to you. I will never stop lock picking. Out of the hell. Akatosh, please. Thank you. Please fucking uh, stop this nonsense. In the name of the Empire.
I'm just gonna reset. I mean, I'm gonna actually reset my oblivion. Look at how fucking sick this is. God, it's like once I fix my mic problems, like another problem shows up. God, I fucking hate it. Hopefully that did something. I don't know. Either way, we'll probably be ending within the next, like, 30 minutes. Not responding, of course. At least I can, uh, at least because of that, I was able to actually move my fucking oblivion window. And it's lagging. I think I'll just, uh, do a few things and then end it. Because I did get some stuff done today. Look at those beautiful moons. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna sell my shit, but what I really want to do is show Martin my cool new armor. So, we're gonna head back to Collateral Temple. I, we haven't seen him for a while on stream. I mean, I check on him all the time when I'm not playing, but... What time is it? I wonder if he's even still awake. Hey, what are you still doing up? Martin, it's like 2 a.m. You... You gotta be asleep. You should sleep. I've made no progress on the fourth item. And every day that passes brings the mythic dawn closer to victory. His teeth are glitching. How are you, Martin? My love, it's so good to see you. How about we spend some time together? It's about time I take a break. Your touch warms my very soul. All of my problems seem so far away now. Stay in my arms for a while. Right now, I'm truly at peace. I love you, Martin. And I, you know.
Gotta clean up some of these dialogue things. I should have the final part of the ritual deciphered soon. It's only a matter of time now. God, his voice just makes me come. Why do I say things like this? You like the armor? Thank you. I'm gonna wait until... No, uh, hold on. Ah. Uh, did you even leave? Martin, you gotta get some rest. Boris, make sure this man actually sleeps while I'm gone. Something's come up. It can't wait. Are we not blades joined by battle and brotherhood? Need you even ask? It's Martin. His security, I mean. I'm just not sure we're doing enough. He is the last of the Septim line. His death would spell our doom. We're all on edge and for good reason, but we can't give in to panic. Let's deal with this together, as the Blades always have. What concerns one of us concerns all of us. We are Blades, after all. Right. Well, we'll all have to remain extra vigilant. But enough chatter. Back to our duties, eh? May Talos guide you. Hail. You're not Joffrey, you're a uh, Walmart brand Joffrey. Be safe, Martin. Mwah. I am a simp. We have been over this. That's an insult. I wear my simp badge with pride. <sighs> I can't have him die. If he ever died, I'd just have to think of a way to bring him back. Even if it means becoming a god. I don't know why I said that. What should I have for dinner tonight? I need to run to the store, but I don't want to. It is so fucking hot. I have air conditioning in my car, but I wish I was in Bruma right now. Yeah. <sighs> All right. 
right, where do I go to sell my shit? So something here, I think. Good day. Good day. Your hair does not match your skin tone. That's like definitely dyed hair. Which I respect as a fellow dyed hair. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. You can have my dagger of the dynamo. I said you can have my diner of the diagramo. You can't have my Waba Jack though. I appreciate your business. Mm. I hope I All right. Help. I was going to have you repair this. Go into battle with broken. What if I just, uh... You too. What if I just, uh, didn't go to the store and just went to fucking In-N-Out instead? Because, uh, let me tell you something about, uh, the In-N-Out grilled cheese. It is... I like to get the, uh, grilled cheese animal style. So, I get the spread and I get the, uh, onions. And it is basically just, like, an onion sandwich. But I, I vibe with onion sandwiches. Ah. A pleasure to speak with you. Is it? Farewell. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Good. You have like f fifty teeth. Only it's really weird. For sale here. What oh. can I interest you in? I just touched something on my computer and it was really hot. I don't like it. Hmm. All right, you can have one of my mortar and pestles. A good price for a good customer. What do I? <sighs> that seems a fair price. You've made a good bit of gold. Damage health and cure poison. That's a good deal. Is it? Uh you know what? Uh I'm gonna sell all of these except like six. There. It's slowing down. I mean, it's speeding up. Uh, you drive a hard bargain. You drive a Mazda. You drive a fancy German car. Speaking of fancy German cars, would it be a hot take if I said BMWs are like the worst car I've ever had the displeasure of driving? My dad used to be all about the BMWs, but uh, 
A good price for a good customer. Then something clicked in him and he realized they suck. So... Do I need to be carrying all these soul gems? Uh, what I really need to be doing is like actually buying a house so I can store my shit, but... I don't know, I don't really want to do that right now. Bye. Anyway, uh, looks like we lasted for two hours. That's, uh, I think I'm just going to end it right now. But anyway, thank you everyone for hanging out. So, uh, bye. <laughs>